A local humanitarian organization is in and around Ukraine to help aid those on the front lines and refugees in neighboring countries. News Channel reporter Reed Harmon is live from the Shelterbox headquarters in Summerland. For more on what the nonprofit is doing, Reed. Yes, and they're preparing to do a lot, Scott. There are about 75 collective centers currently in, in Moldova, such as schools and churches that are housing those refugees coming from Ukraine. Uh, those centers are running low, though, on resources, so Shelterbox is stepping up. Shelterbox has boots on the ground in Moldova and western Ukraine as the humanitarian crisis intensifies. There's a concern that as they're already pretty uh, stretched in terms of their resources. We think there's going to be a lot of need for humanitarian organizations like ours to kind of step up and fill that role. Shelterbox is focusing on a variety of projects that really help meet the basic needs of both people who've been internally displaced within Ukraine. And we have two projects ongoing in Ukraine and actually we have aid that's currently being distributed in western Ukraine. One project is delivering mattresses to schools and churches in Ukraine where people are seeking shelter. Another project is for those on the front lines who are already trying to rebuild their homes. So just kind of basic tools and tarps, solar lights, um, and other materials that could help them rebuild a home that's been damaged. And the last project is where Stephanie Christensen is, Moldova. So there's about 380,000 refugees here, which is 15% of their population. Moldova is one of the poorest countries in Europe, um, and they're not part of the European Union, so they're not getting the same funding. Stephanie has been with Shelterbox for eight years, but nothing she has seen has quite compared to this. Families we've talked to don't know what's next for them. They, they pretty much all want to go home, but they don't know when they can do that. We spoke to a mom yesterday. She has four young kids staying in a collective center. She told us her story, which was obviously very emotional for her to relive. Um, and we're just so grateful that she was willing to, to paint that picture for us. And for that mom and those children, women and children and even elders are being a large percentage of those refugees that are coming through. So the aid from Shelterbox are adjusting based on the needs of those displaced families, uh, including you know making sure that the sizes for blankets and little things like that are suitable for the people that need them the most. Live in Santa Barbara from the Shelterbox headquarters here uh, in Summerlin, I'm News Channel reporter Reed Harmon.